Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I do apologise that I haven't been posting any videos lately. It's been a bit crazy around here with work and a few other things on my business side, so I just haven't had the time to sit down in front of the camera. So now I'm taking the time to finally do an unboxing video again. I know you guys loved the last one from Henry Vendel, so this time I'm doing another one. This is from a company called Exnelia. I hope I pronounced that right. It's X and then it's N-I-H-I-L-O. And they're an Australian company, I believe, and I found them on Instagram. So a little bit of background, I purchased a beautiful gold vegan leather bag from them. Kind of gives off the feel of the Loewe hammock bag and it's just stunning. I walked into Chadston a couple of weeks ago and I had people asking me, begging me to tell me, tell me where I got it from. So yeah, it was just it's just a beautiful bag and I will show more modeling pictures of it on my blog um, to come. But yeah, so I reached out to Exnilio and I told them how fantastic I thought this bag was and how many compliments I got for it. Like they need to hear that they're getting some hype around their brand. But I was just over the moon by how stunningly nice they were. So yeah, let's get right into unboxing it. So it did come in a big, like typical brown mailing box, but it does come in its own packaging. So it looks like this, it's black, and it says X nearly. I don't know if you can see it, it's just down the bottom, that's their brand name in gold writing. I would seriously recommend checking them out on their website and their Instagram account. I'll leave the links below. I would check out their blogs as well because they've got some fantastic features with other great, great bloggers that I admire. So it's worth looking at that. But yeah, let's open my box. Okay. Oh, it just opens up like this. So lovely. Oh, so sweet. I've got a TLC card for how to keep my bag nice and new and clean. Fantastic. It's great. And then I've got a lovely, beautiful card from them with my name on it. Oh, that's so sweet. I love that packaging. Cute. There's like a handwritten note by the founders of this company. So I'm going to keep that. And there, here we go. So it was in tissue paper. And then it comes in a dust bag. So let me put this black box down which I will keep to store it in anyways. So it comes in this lovely white with black writing, Vixnelio. How cute is that? Okay, let's go right into it. Open, open, open. Oh. Here we go, a little bit tight. <laughs> That's good. Wow, look at that. Oh, it's so cute. Just put the dust bag down there. So this is the bag I chose and it's absolutely stunning. I'll link all the details of the name of this specific bag um, below, but I think it comes in this tan color and a black as well. And it's called the Milford bag. This is what it looks like. So there's a few little buckles here that you can unbuckle. I just unbuckled that quickly. So yeah, and I guess you'll see the full shape because it's got stuffing in here as well. So let's open that. Great. Awesome. The strap. Oh, so cute. And then there's more buckles to make it even wider. So this is great. So it's got like a few different ways to wear it, I think, as well. So there's the stuffing. And a care card, I believe, is in here as well. Another care card. Yep. Yeah. So it just says it's 100% leather and a few other care instructions as well as the care instructions I received in the box. So, looking at the bag, like I think you can adjust the shoulder straps as well. So if you unbuckle all the buckles, it's quite wide inside with just like the natural lining inside which is perfect there are no extra pockets or anything to store things in it but i'm okay with that personally because i carry a lot of pouches to organize my stuff so that to me is not a deal breaker or if any case i can buy a bag insert to drop my stuff in so that's 
not a big deal. Bag feet on the bottom. This is great if you do put your bags on the ground. I'm very guilty of just putting my handbag on the ground at a restaurant or a cafe. And the fact that they have bag feet is amazing. I don't think my eight bag from them did, but I just think that that addition to this with bag feet looks amazing and it just adds the extra bit of protection when you do set it on the ground or on a table or something like that. So. But what I love about this bag is the way that I think you can wear it a couple of different ways. So obviously it's got the Exnelia logo down the bottom. Very subtle, nothing over the top. Okay, I thought I'd give you a few ways to wear this bag um, just quickly. You can wear it fully out so it kind of hangs like this, if you can see it which is probably the way I think I'm going to wear it. The other thing you can do is you can actually bring in the buttons. So just like the Prada's at Galleria bag, you can actually make it a little bit more narrow when you click it in there. And then you've got just a little, a little bit less room to get your stuff in and out of. So if you see in there, it's a little bit less room, but I still think you can reach your hand in there and get out everything you need anyway. So I think I might like the look of it all buttoned up like this. What do you guys think of the sides are brought in? I think it looks quite nice like that personally, but you know. Let's see what other ways we can put the buttons. Is it that way? Yeah. I think that's... Yeah. I probably don't like the way that looks. It looks a bit messy to me, so I think the way I'm personally going to wear this bag is that second way I showed you or the first way. So bring in it, all the buttons close together and then just wear it like this. Or crossbody if need be. So yep, I think this is definitely more my style and easier for me to get into. You can also do this actually. All the ways you can wear this bag, it's like, this is pretty cool. Maybe. That's pretty cool. What do you think of that? So that's what it looks like all done up. That's pretty done up, so I think that you would have a hard time getting in and out of that if you need to reach for like your my key card, wallet, to pay for coffee and things like that. So I probably wouldn't wear this. Let's see what it looks like with the buttons undone. That could be cute, that could be better. Mm, depends, do you like that little bit hanging out? Probably not for me. Yeah, so I think I'm just gonna either wear it really, really wide. Yeah, I think I like that. That's so cute. Or I'm going to wear it buttoned in close together, like that. This is actually the perfect size for my moped, my Vespa, so, and it's crossbody, which makes it a hell of a lot easier to be moving about on the bike. And I feel like it's not gonna get so scuffed and dirty that it's gonna be unrecognizable after a couple months. So yeah, I think this is gonna actually really, really add to my collection of bags and it will definitely be used. From the touch, the leather is really soft and supple. The leather, it looks very sturdy, like it's not gonna just like, I don't know, fall apart. Everything looks really, really nice. Wow. I can, yeah, this could, it could be almost my everyday bag. It's the perfect size, not too big, not too small, that I can actually wear it in a multitude of different ways. So, yes, this is my new Exnilio bag. If you guys are interested, I'll put all the details of this particular bag, plus the website and Instagram, as I said earlier, because really, seriously, these guys are doing an amazing job. They're putting out designs that are unique and different to what I see on the market, and they're trying to compete with a lot of different brands on the Australian market at the moment. Some really well established, so it's good for them that they're actually reaching out into the market and producing some very, very interesting pieces that don't look like everything else that we see. So I'm going to pretty much run away and put my stuff in here to use, I think, because it's such a beautiful, beautiful bag. That is it. If you have any questions, please comment below. 
And yeah, I will see you guys next time. Short and sweet this time. Bye. Mwah.